Um, when I started with the party, he was the leader of the party and I admired him. He's part of the reason why I joined the party. Um, he, the ideas that he represented, the things he was fighting for were the things that I wanted to fight for and that it was the change that I wanted to see. And uh, then I actually got to work with him and I was his, his executive assistant for a while. And um, everyone who's ever worked for, for him, with him, beside him, um, feels such a tremendous loss because he was the most honest man, he was the most caring, compassionate, intelligent, everything he said and everything he worked for, he, he felt to the core of his being and he was never going to give up no matter what and he never did. And um, so it's a tremendous loss for, for everyone, for the whole country, but I think that uh, people like myself who spend quite a bit of time working with him um, feel a special kind of loss. It's very sad. You always hold out the hope. Uh, I took a picture of him on June the 3rd when he was entering the Senate chamber for the throne speech and he looked so robust and, and so alive and invigorated and it always gives you the hope. Uh, it was very sad to see him uh, go so quickly. Um, but just the courage and dignity that he showed. I work at the Senate so for me, Mr. Layton is one of my neighbors, one of my parliamentary neighbors and colleagues, so that's why I'm here paying respect to him today.